Hello, everyone. I'm Gina. Today, let's get on board to a time machine and check out those traditional Chinese toys that have been around for centuries. These toys are believed to teach children essential life skills, problem-solving skill, fine motor skills, and focus. The first one is for outdoor. Feng Zheng, Feng Zheng, kite. At the beginning, it was used for military application, delivery of ammunition, and for observation. But as a toy, it is perfect for children who are active and love outdoor activities. The next one is Qi Qiao Ban, Qi Qiao Ban, Tangram. Yes, it is a traditional Chinese puzzle game. It composed of seven flat shapes that can be arranged to form a variety of shapes and patterns. Kids can use the tangram to create pictures, learn their shapes, and strengthen problem-solving skills. I believe you've spent some time on it when you were a child. Another fact: Liu Liu Qiu, Liu Liu Qiu, yo-yos. Are also first originated in China as early as 500 BC. It requires skills and patience to master tricks, and is great for hand-eye coordination. Yo-yos come in a variety of sizes and colors, and can be enjoyed both indoors and outdoors. No wonder it is still one of the most popular activities among kids all over the world. Last but not least. 波浪鼓，波浪鼓 ，rattle drum. It is a percussion instrument consisting of a circular frame with two pallets attached around the edge. Pallets move and rub against the drum surface when you wiggle it. As a toy, it can help develop coordination and motor skills, as well as promote a sense of rhythm. It can also be used as a fun way to explore different sounds and experiment with music. I believe it was the music enlightenment for most Chinese kids, and I'm one of them. So, what about you? What is your favorite toy when you were a child? Do you know its Chinese name? I will see you next time. Bye.